Hey everyone, welcome back to Pharmacam Insights. In today's video, we are going to cover an important topic in volumetric analysis. How to prepare and standardize 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate solution, specifically against potassium dichromate. This process is crucial for idometric titration in redox reaction. So let's get started. Let's start by going through the materials and chemicals you will need for this experiment. Chemical and reagents required are sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate, potassium dichromate, distilled water, 500 ml volumetric flux, analytical balance, burette and pipette, 250 ml stoppered conical flux, potassium iodide, hydrochloric acid and starch indicator. Let us see how to prepare 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate solution. Since we are preparing normal solution, let us understand what is normality. Normality is the number of gram equivalent weight of the solute present in 1 liter of solution. The formula for normal solution is weight in gram is equal to normality into equivalent weight into volume divided by 1000. In case of sodium thiosulfate, equivalent will be equal to molecular weight divided by number of electron transfer. Molecular weight of sodium thiosulfate is 248.18 gram since we are using sodium thiosulfate in pentahydrate form. For equivalent weight of sodium thiosulfate, we know the formula that is molecular weight divided by number of electrons transferred which is 1 in case of sodium thiosulfate. So, 248.18 divided by 1 gives 248.18. Now, let us see the calculation to prepare 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate in 1000 ml. So, we have data normality of sodium thiosulfate to be prepared is 0.1 normal. Volume to be prepared is 1000 ml. Equivalent weight of sodium thiosulfate which we have calculated earlier is 248.18 gram. So, according to formula, weight in gram is equal to normality into equivalent weight into volume divided by 1000. So, by putting the values 0.1 into 248.18 into 1000 divided by 1000, we get 24.818 gram. Hence, 24.818 gram of sodium thiosulfate dissolved in 1000 ml of water gives 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate solution. Now we will see preparation of 0.1 normal K2Cr207 solution that is potassium dichromate solution. Molecular weight of potassium dichromate is 294.185 gram as potassium dichromate has 6 repressible electrons. Equivalent weight of potassium dichromate is 294.185 divided by 6 that is 49.03 gram. To prepare 0.1 normal dichromate solution in 500 ml, we have formula weight in gram is equal to normality into equivalent weight into volume divided by 1000. So by putting the values 0.1 into 49.03 into 500 divided by 1000 we get 2.45 gram. Hence 2.45 gram of potassium dichromate dissolved in 500 ml of water gives you 0.1 normal dichromate solution. Let's see schematically how to prepare 0.1 normal dichromate solution. So first we weigh 2.45 gram of K2Cr2O7 and transferred in a beaker dissolved in minimum amount of water 50 to 60 ml. Make sure that every particle dissolve in beaker itself and transfer this solution to a 500 ml volumetric flux. Rinse the beaker 2-3 times with small amount of water and transfer these washings to the same 500 ml volumetric flux. Finally, make up to the mark with water. This is your 0.1 normal K2Cr2O7 solution. We need 1% starch solution as an indicator. So, let's see its preparation. Starch is available in powder form. 1 gram of starch in 100 ml 
is 1% starch solution. Procedure. Dissolve 1 gram of starch in 5 ml distilled water to make a slurry. Bring 95 ml of distilled water to a boil. Then slowly add the starch slurry to the boiling water while stirring continuously. Continue heating and stirring until the solution turns clear or slightly translucent. Let the solution cool to room temperature before use. Store in a cool place and use fresh for best results. Next, we will standardize this sodium thiosulfate solution using potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate is a strong oxidizing agent and is often used as a primary standard in idometric titration. We will see the titration setup. Titrant is 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate which is filled in burette. Titrant is 0.1 normal K2Cr2 so solution which is in conical flux. Indicator is 1% starch solution. Color change here is yellow to dark blue to colorless. End point is disappearance of dark blue color. Now let us see the procedure for standardization. First fill the burette with 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate solution. Then pipette out 25 ml of 0.1 normal potassium dichromate solution in stoppered conical flux. Add about 2 gram of solid potassium iodide in it. Then add 5 ml of Kong SCL to the flux and mix and keep in dark for 10 minutes. The acidic medium allow the potassium dichromate to react with Ki liberating iodine. You can see the reaction below. K2Cr2O7 reacts with 6 molecules of Ki in presence of acidic medium HCl to give CrCl3 and 3 molecules of iodine has been liberated. You can see that iodine has been liberated and the solution turns a dark brown. We are now ready to titrate this iodine solution with our 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate solution. As we add sodium thiosulfate from burette, the brown color will start to fade. You can see in the image below. When it turns pale yellow, it's time to add a 1 ml of starch indicator. The addition of starch will turn the solution blue due to the iodine starch complex. You can see the image below. Continue titrating until the blue color disappears, which signals the end point of the titration. You can see the reaction. Iodine reacts with sodium thiosulfate to give sodium tetrathionate and sodium iodide. Now let us see the calculation. We have formula N1V1 is equal to N2V2. N1V1 represents the normality and volume of K2Cr2O7 solution and N2V2 represents the normality and volume of sodium thiosulfate solution. So we know the normality and volume of K2Cr2O7 solution that is 0.1 into 25 and N2 which is the normality of sodium thiosulfate solution which we have to calculate. And let us assume the burette reading we got is 24.9 of sodium thiosulfate solution. So, V2 of sodium thiosulfate solution is 24.9. So, by calculating N2 is equal to 0.1 into 25 divided by 24.9, we get 0 0.1004 normal. Thus, the normality of standardized sodium thiosulfate solution is 0 0.1004 normal. And that's it. We have successfully prepared and standardized 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate using potassium dichromate as a primary standard. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it and hit that subscribe button for more chemistry tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.